Hi, this is Shu with a review of the Nike Air Force One React Level 8. Um, I don't exactly understand what the Level 8 is supposed to represent, but uh, it is part of the DIM 6 or Dimension 6 line, which is, I believe, was uh, designed to try and soothe the uh, uh, pain or upset feelings that former Nike CEO uh, Phil Knight might have experienced when he tossed this name, Dimension 6, as a name for their new brand. And everyone else kind of like looked the other way and, you know, didn't really want it to go with it. Someone actually had a good dream where they came up with this name Nike, uh, the victory, the goddess of victory or something, where that person dreamt of it or thought of it while that person was, you know, dozing off. I'm not really 100% sure. It's been a while since I read those history books about Nike. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the DIM6 lineup is supposed to be is something a little bit different, something eccentric. Usually they're a, a huge hit or a miss. Uh, the... Nike Air Force One React, when it first came out, uh, I had two problems. First of all, the swoosh was bloody ugly. I mean, it, it, it actually went from like here and it was like there and it was kind of painted on it, uh, line, and it wasn't even like full swoosh. It just, it's, it's just a silhouette or the lines of the swoosh. So it didn't really look pretty. And the drop-in midsole react foam for some reason the first one when the first white color was launched i tried it and i compared it with the air force one comfort which is similar to this it's a poly uh, pu midsole uh, with i believe maybe some air caps in the heel they tried to live up to the name of air force one so they try to implement the air uh, sole technology even in the react version they have this air capsule it's I don't think it's going to pop anytime soon. It, it provides a little bit of a bounce to it. But the problem with the first Nike Air Force One React was this drop-in missile was, it was red in color. Uh, it felt rather rather rigid. It felt rather firm and thin. Uh, this one, it feels more plush and soft to the touch. Once you put it on, you can actually feel the difference. I don't know what it is. It is a coloring or did they make some improvements or uh, was it some random uh, misfortune that I picked the first one which did not have the best uh, chemical balance or uh, best uh, squeeze out of the ta uh, the, the tooth the, uh, the 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 react tube that's supposed to squeeze the uh, foam out of not really sure but this black one is definitely softer it feels softer and uh, and the lining it's it's also a little bit softer because the red one it felt really scratchy it felt like i was w walking on some some of those special shoes that's supposed to provide you that massaging uh, benefits or feeling or sensation it felt like it was hurting my uh, my but the sole of my d delicate foot this one is a little different and also if you can buy one of those cheap really thin insoles and you put it on top it actually works wonders to enhance the sensation uh, the good thing is it does have a bit of a toe space here so you can't afford to put uh, a tiny a uh, very thin layer of insole and not affect the fit tremendously uh yeah speaking of fit it goes through the size uh, it's not any particularly narrow i mean if you have really narrow feet you might want to go down half a size but personally i this is not probably a shoe you want to rock for serious hooping unless you're unless you're rashid wallace so you know for casual fitting i'd say go through the size so yeah the change in the react foam or the the different feeling i got from this different color react foam for strange reason it the little air droplet and the softer uh, midsole actually worked better it just felt so good once i put it in uh while i was feeling skeptical because i was disappointed with the first release and of course the swish is wonderful i love how this is placed here it's actually transparent yeah, as you can see my fingers in there so depending on what kind of psychedelic colorful socks you wear you would be able to change how the shoe looks entirely and also uh this one comes in white as well i love this little iridescent uh point of course this is i'm a sucker for these uh, rainbow iridescent uh holographic type of thing i wish they had more of that that would be even better but anyway this is that'll do pig that'll do that'll do that's i'm just grateful enough that they put this little bits of uh, accentuation marks or, or exclamation marks there and also the Nike air logo it's better on a black with a red the black and red goes just nice the traditional Nike air uh, swoosh embroidery it's red and black it's good the white one had uh, a color that kind of faded away with this little heel tap so it wasn't really popping as much as I would have loved it to so the traction also uh, speaking of traction it's it's a little bit of an improvement from the conventional Air Force ones, if you can tell, it's 
The original ones, it's just a, a little tube that goes around with a, a little line or a blade. And this one, it's blades, 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 circle, crop circle from the pivot point. So there's a lot, there's more grip, there's more grippiness all throughout. So that's definitely an enhancement. And yeah, um, what am I missing out? I'm saving the best for last. Uh, first of all, it's uh, nine size nine weighs about uh, 440 grams, so it's not that heavy considering this is an old school uh, durable rubber cup basketball shoes. So, uh, what really drew me to this shoe? Uh, first of all, let's turn off the lights and find out. You won't see that much of a difference at at go. Okay, I'm gonna charge it with light. When you when you have something that glows in the dark, you gotta charge it. You gotta charge it to get the maximum effect. Okay, here it goes. Isn't that amazing?